Hello. Today we're doing something pretty boring but pretty cool. Today we're doing an oil change on Martha. It's it's pretty much long there. We have the filter. It should be a quick little video. Sadly, it's not a fun install, but we'll try to make it fun. Wow. Mmm. Next, jack her up. See up there. Not high enough. We're good. That's a good spot. Lower that jack. Gotta undo the drain plug bolt. Before you do that, I have paper to spread just in case any drips of oil fall. So you don't make a big mess. I got paper everywhere. I'm gonna aim it right there and put it down. I'm gonna put some gloves on because it's always gonna get everywhere. Let's hope for the best. There you go. That's why we wear gloves. While this is dripping, I'm going to take out the oil cap now, and that should release more. Did more come out? Oh. Oh, that's boring. Now I got to take out my oil filter, which is... It's hard to see. See that white thing right there? That's the oil filter. you got to shove your hand in there. And then... <laughs> You might get a few cuts and bruises. Uh, this is annoying. I really hate getting to that oil filter. It is. It's a nightmare. Like Filters out. It it was horrible. I got scratches all over my hand. Uh, I'm pretty beat up. The trick was use vice grips. I shoved the vice grip in there. Grabbed it by. Grabbed it by where this nut is. Just twisted it out. Just little by little. Now we dump it out. Okay, be making a mess. I wish I could keep this filter, it's a K&N. Sadly, the K&N wasn't on special. I had to get the mobile. Let's get out the new filter and put her in. It's the new guy. So you want to get this a little lubed up. There you go, she's a little wet. Let's put her on. Oh, I really don't want to put it in. Now you shove your hand in there, get many more cuts. Hope for the best. I shove that filter in there. Use a rag so you can have better grip. I got a couple new scars. Now all I gotta do is put in oil and check the dipstick to make sure it's at the correct level. Oh yeah, before I do that, I gotta put on the drain plug. When I put in the drain plug, I put a little bit of Teflon tape because I kinda need it. You won't need it, but I just have to do it. There you go. I put a bunch of Teflon tape on it. And I shove it in the oil pan and tighten it. That's good. Now I clean it a little, make sure it ain't leaking any oil. I hope it's not leaking. Not seeing anything yet. We'll just find out tomorrow, but hell yeah, look at that. Now before you put the oil in, um, you want to drop your Miata or your car because you want the oil to go in basically flat to the ground. Mouth is flat on the ground. Fill her up. I just filled her up. I dried up the dipstick. Put it in. Then take it out. Now check it. And mine just literally at full, over the full line, basically. That's fine. So I'm gonna start her up and see what happens. Idling good. That oil thing is a dummy. It doesn't really tell you if you're low or not. Okay. 
Very good. I didn't see any visible oil leaks. Now I'm gonna turn it off. Protect the dipstick again. Clean it with the rag. Nice and clean. Put it in the hole and check it. It is just right in the middle. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's just in the middle. I'm gonna add a little more just so it can be like at the full. Check the dipstick one more time. It says just like on the full line. You don't want to be overfilled, obviously, but I'd rather be a little on the full side than the low side. And yeah, that'll be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Press that like and subscribe. Yeah.